All right, we are back. It's our Bravo Blast from the Past show with Caroline from Ladies of London, Patty, Millionaire Matchmaker, Jonathan from Blowout, Sebastian from NYC Prep, Elizabeth from Gallery Girls, and Chanel from Princesses Long Island. I want to go around um, and hear from each of you if you have a favorite moment from your respective uh, show, a favorite moment from your show. Caroline. A hundred percent, the un unicorn gate. Unicorn gate. All right, <laughs> leaning into it, Patty Stanger. Um, my hundredth episode with Kenya Taylor Dane and Cynthia Bailey. They were my friends, and I had the most fun of making that episode. That was a really good one, Jonathan yeah. Anton. Uh, two favorite moments. Number one. Asking Sassy to ma marry me. Yes. Number two, Yay. selling out on QVC. Yes. <laughs> but, by the way, you were the first in a very long line of Bravo celebrities who wound up taking their products to QVC. I, you were the first. You were the first to I do know that. that. Um, Sebastian, and you helped me do that. And we need dirt again, Sebastian. <laughs> and it'll yeah. come. Yes. Good. My favorite moment in retrospect. I said that I was going to only get married when I was 60. Uh, so I guess joke's on me at right. this point. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Uh, Elizabeth. Um, probably when Eli made Maggie count each individual pebble in a bonsai tree right. art installation. <laughs> um, and Chanel. I probably would say when uh, my first attempt at stand-up comedy when I was writing and saying my speech at my sister's wedding and nobody was listening. I think it like really prepared me for real life and rejection, and which is why I'm at Chanel in the City with my podcast. So it was a good thing. There you go. Uh, let's go to our virtual audience. Uh, Tamarin has a question for Patty Stanger. Hi, Andy. Hi, Patty. Hi. Hi. Our, our question is, out of all the single Bravo webs, who would you love to set up and who would you never, ever want to work with? Andy Cohn to set up. Okay, that's done. He is the number one person I want to fix up. He knows that. And um, is there, I don't think there's anybody I wouldn't set up. I mean, I pretty much, I think everyone needs love, so I don't have a nobody. Maybe Pat Ramona would be my most difficult. She I would think. be difficult, but Patty's not yeah. really afraid of anybody. You need to know this. Yeah. She's not, she's not, nobody's going to, nobody's going to beat her down. I mean, okay. Uh, Corey has a question for Jonathan Anton. I love you, Andy Cohen. Uh, hey, hey Corey. Jonathan, how are you? I'm well, and you? Uh, good. Do you still cut Lisa Rinna's hair, and how do you feel about her trying styles other than her signature look? I still do <laughs> the Hamlin family. Uh Harry most of the time, Lisa some of the time. Uh, but I think Lisa, I love Lisa trying all different things. I, I love everything about Lisa. She's, I, I can't say anything bad about her. She's the greatest, greatest goat woman in the world. Okay, let me go with some more uh, random questions for you guys. Caroline, Christine J wants to know, do you still keep in touch with Pauline from Gift Library? <laughs> oh my God, what a what a weird question. But yes, I actually just spoke to her about, I don't know, three months ago. Wow. She's the one that told you you were out of money, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, and Caroline Esperanza, I wants to know if you've let your kids rewatch old episodes of the show. I actually came home the other day and found my daughter in bed with a girlfriend of hers in my bed watching it. So, um, they they kind of sneak and watch it. My sons aren't interested. They're ten. They are. They're not interested. Okay, that is interesting. Uh, Sebastian, uh, do you think the gang would have done another if if the show had been picked up again? Do you think the gang would have done it again? Uh, I think that's probably there's there's some yeses and some nos in that bag. Um, I think people were all for it, and other people were, you know, right. onto other things. So Our, I think it's like a fifty-fifty. Heather L wants to know if PC and Jesse are still best friends. You know, 
in the limited amount that I talked to him, that's definitely not one of my questions to him. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Um, Elizabeth, uh, RDN said, I saw on social media, oh, tell me if I already asked you this. You're still close with Carrie, but what happened between you and Maggie? You two were so close. Oh, I already did. And you said you were not, uh, you actually weren't. Uh, close. Marie E wants to know, Elizabeth, what did you honestly think of Angela's photography? I don't know. <laughs> Deb K wants to know, Elizabeth, what did you think of Claudia calling Chantal a pathological liar after clothing, closing their studio together? I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Um, Chanel, Samantha F wants to know the wildest story you have from being Lindsay Lohan's assistant from back in the day. Oh, wow. How much time do we have? Um, the wildest story? Uh, I would say the wildest story actually is during Hurricane Katrina um, in New York when everything shut down, we had no power. I was basically homeless. Nobody wanted to help me out. My parents were on Long Island. I was in the city. And Lindsay dropped. She was um, working on a movie set with Charlie Sheen. It was the spoof of scary movie. And she dropped everything and came to rescue me and brought me home back to Dina's house where she originally lived and then that was a great bonding moment for us and really showed what a true friend and a, a good person that she is so i would say that was probably one of our wildest that's good I, I like that well even it's if it's been years since my guests were in front of the bravo cameras they certainly remember wild stories about what went on behind the scenes it's time for a little round of never have i ever i'm gonna read off statements if you've done the thing sip your drink folks if you've done the thing Sip the drinks. Never have I ever gotten caught in a hot mic moment. I would think, wow, only, only Chanel, wow. Uh, <laughs> never have I ever said something awful during the interviews that I later regretted. Okay, uh, everyone except Caroline, wow. Never have I ever begged a producer not to show something I was embarrassed about. No one, Jonathan, okay. <laughs> and Jonathan, did they wind up showing it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, sorry. Um, sorry. <laughs> never ever ever <laughs> um, gotten away with lying about something on camera. No, okay. Never I ever, never have I ever hooked up with a fan of the show. Chanel, um, all right, I love I it. I mean, okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, never have I ever ended a friendship because of the show. Wow, Caroline and Patty, Jonathan, Eliz okay. Caroline, who would you say? Adela. Right. Right. Uh, Patty, what about you? My whole cat, my whole staff. <laughs> Are you, I was going to ask if you're still in touch with Destin and Rachel. No. no Are they no. still together? Who knows? You're not in touch. I don't know. I don't know. I hear they are, but right. I don't keep in touch with any of them. I really only keep in touch with David. He's the only one who's like a real legitimate relationship coach. Right, right. So, okay, last yeah. up. Never have I ever regretted participating in the show. Any of you? Oh, I was worried Elizabeth was going to pick. Oh, really? <laughs> do you, do you, Elizabeth? Baby, baby oh. Do you regret it, Elizabeth? Not really. I don't. Not, know. Yeah, right, right. All right. Well, I want to thank all of you for hanging out with us today. It is so fun to see you. Everyone was so excited uh, that you were going to do this. I appreciate you hanging out with us. For more, click around bravotv.com. I sure hope to see all of you in person real soon. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.